Hello, this is the official rider briefing for the Alpenflow Epping ride coming from you literally from the top of the Australian world at least. It is a glorious day. The weather forecast is exactly for this on Saturday as well. So it's going to be a long tough day in the saddle but it's going to be the one of the most amazing rides you've ever done. I can promise you that. I absolutely love it. Um, as you can see I'm halfway through it. I started the, the new descents. <clears throat> Lots of new trails that have been put in here over the last few months. Uh, some of the, the sections are a bit uh, soft still, um, but the majority of the trails are really absolutely in prime conditions and really nice, nice to ride. I'm going to start the ride at 9 o'clock, quarter to 9. We have a call up from all of you, uh, take a nice big group shot. We're around about sort of 20, 25 riders. So a really, really good group to ride this epic ride together. We're gonna start um, going down gang gangs. It's a nice, uh, the nice first descent to open up the the lungs a little bit, and then after that, uh, when we get uh, to the bottom of the helipad, the first pinchy climb to get to the top of Corn Hill, not too bad there, and then uh, the first gem of the trails away. It's like a nice brand new flowy fast descent that gets us to Hakwa Gap. After Hakwa Gap, I'm not going to lie to you, that is probably the hardest climb of the day in terms of, uh, it's just physical. It's nothing nothing overly brutal in it. It's just, you know, just a bit steep. Um, a few sections, you're probably rather better off walking to save the legs a little bit. But, you know, we make our way slowly there. There's uh, almost at the top of it, there's an absolute beautiful waterfall um, on the side of the track where I refilled my bottles. Um, I think that that water is uh, pretty safe to drink. If I don't get diarrhea in the next two days, then it's pretty safe to drink. So I'll test those things for you guys, myself. Uh, then we come, yeah, Stonefly, to the top of Stonefly, which is where I am right now. It's probably uh, one of the best scenic views. Then, um, yeah, I obviously haven't ridden the rest of the track yet, but from memory, we're going to keep going <coughs> along this road here and then start descending in uh, to Telegraph uh, Point, junction and there's toilets we're gonna have a food drop there unfortunately the cafe that is there is not gonna be open but we have a food drop there so we're gonna be able to uh, feed you there and then have a, a nice big break and then also this is a really good spot for the entire group to regroup and, and rebunch back together this is also um, the first sort of point if you feel like ah oh, it's probably a bit more than uh, you would have you would have liked to so telegraph uh, point junction is a really good spot to, to uh, uh, cut the track Cut the right short if you feel like it, if you don't feel the, that the legs are, are up for the rest or if there's any issues with the bikes or any of that, there's a few ways to get out from there. Um, after that, it's uh, the next climb out of there is, is sort of long, but it's not hard from memory. It's sort of, it's up the fire road. It's pretty gradual. So, you know, put in a nice easy gear, just keep clocking along for, yeah, a good while. Because then what comes after that is probably the best descent you can do in Australia. And uh, yeah, there's a little uh, there's a little bench there on the right hand side. And when you get to it, I think it says enjoy or something along those lines on it. And then uh, from there on down, it's just, it's just you, you get arm pump and, and your ears are start hurting from the smiles on your face. It's just berm after berm after berm after berm after berm. Once I've, I've ridden it, then at the rider briefing, I'll let you know the conditions of those, but I, I can only imagine that they are going to be as good as they have been last year, especially in these dry conditions that we have. You finish at those berms, and then you get to the Delatide River. Um, sort of a nice, along that river, not too hard to ride. It's, it's nice and flowy. And then that it, uh, spits us out, and Mirimba. Now here we have two options. Um, and, then, and then judging from the experience that we made last year, the majority of riders actually went like, Miriba, that's me done. I've, I've seen it. And uh, to be honest, this is the most glorious part of the trail. So you've seen all the top bits of the track. So it's a good idea to either have somebody pick you up from there or stash a car there the night before. Um, and then, uh, yeah, have, have that as your stop. Because uh, what comes after that is uh, something... <laughs> And people laugh at me when I told them the first time that we're going to ride up the Delatite River track. But uh, growing up in Austria, there's very few places in Australia that give you that feeling of this hard, tough climb. And you arrive at the top and you made it at the finish. And I don't want to take that away from, uh, from every one of you who is still super keen to get that experience and get that feeling of 
yeah, really, really big exhaustion, but you arrive at the top. It's just this wonderful feeling. It's uh, probably about a two, two and a half hour climb. Uh, in terms of scenery, we've seen it. Um, it is just about the mind and the legs and, and, and enjoying that. So yeah, definitely looking forward to doing that with probably a select few at the end. I think last, last year we had about four who, uh, who climbed all the way to the top. Um, the way we go up there is we go up the Delatite River track. And then there's a section where it gets really, really steep. So we're bypassing that. So we turn left and go along um, other fire roads. And then that road that spits us out on, it's called Circuit Road, I believe. That goes then all the way to Hakwa Gap. So this this is where we would have passed, uh, um, yeah, probably about five hours earlier. And then uh, keep climbing along this fire road all the way back to um, the helipad. That's where we would have come down. It's the finish of Gang Gangs. And then there, um, it's just a short but the uh, uh, pinchy uh, single trail back to Mount Bola. That is pretty much the ride. I look really forward to uh, welcoming you to it, to uh, uh, riding it with you. It is a fantastic experience. And um, yeah, the way, as I said, the way we do it, it's not, it's not going to be a race. Not going to go very hard. This is about enjoying a day in the mountains together in a, in a group. Of course, it's going to splinter up the group a little bit. And then we make sure that we got uh, um, people with, with trail knowledge in those uh, various groups. But basically, it's sort of a bit of a uh, coming coming back, waiting at, at various sp spots, taking pictures, taking videos and all that. And then, uh, yeah, coming together there. All right, that's it. I look forward to seeing you all Saturday morning. Boop, boop.